Hi hey guys, General Splatton here. I want to give you an update and some eye candy. This is my entry for Nataku's painting contest sponsored by Cypher Studios of the Anima Tactics figure Shinigami Isle. This is her card that comes with a figure for the game, given her stats and powers and abilities. And then on the back, the uh, overall concept art that, where the figure is based and where I took a lot of my inspiration. Beautiful artwork on the card, beautiful figure. I call the figure the beautiful side of evil. And the reason being is that yes, evil is bad and evil is destructive, but there's there's a beauty, there's a beautiful side to evil, or an appealing side, or something that draws us to it. Yeah. So, you know, there's got to be some appeal for evil to continue to flourish, and since she is a very beautiful woman that's been corrupted by evil that's how I envisioned her and painted her now I since evil has a beautiful side or an appealing side and certainly like I said her beauty uh, she also Evil also comes with its warning signs, and she certainly has a lot of warning signs that something is amiss with the horns and the tail and the wicked weapon. The overall tone of the figure I kept in browns and reds because I wanted a, a kind of a unifying element in those in those tones, and so that's why I used a lot of brown, red. The only break really is the gloves and gauntlets in the black. The rest of it is those tones like her armor for instance is uh, a bronze color that shaded and highlighted as well as her boots and greaves I guess that's what they are. Now the scythe or sith, everybody pronounce it, is glowing, it's cooling down now. But what I did was, is I gloss varnished that. I wanted to show the, this is a focal point of the model, so I wanted to show uh, it off as one of the focal points. It's a beautiful weapon. The, I've got the runes glowing, uh, white hot in spots. And then I envisioned the blade is a dark, dark color, so as it cools down, it comes back to this darkness. She's on a pier over some water by herself. That's how I based her. Whether she's taking a moment from a, a battle, or preparing for battle, or taking a moment after a battle, rather, or getting away for a moment to, to invoke some magics or something, where she's not having to use a weapon, or she's just used a weapon in battle, that's why it's glowing. Uh, red hair. I did get the eyes right. I used a micron pen this time. She is leaning to the left a little and her head is turned to the left slightly. So I put her eyes focusing that way as well. She's looking something uh, off to the left. <coughs> I gave her some eyeshadow as well, orange and a, and a lavender or purple color because she's kind of a flame chick. So that's what I did. Got the lips highlighted. I painted in abs on her to, for her abdomen area. It turned out pretty well. I made her have a pale type skin, being redheaded. She would have a pale complexion, fair skin. I put her on a pier, like I said, over the water, and I put her like facing the corner, not facing straight on like this. Uh, in movies, the reason I did that in movies, uh, to create tension, they'll tilt the angle like this, 
and so I thought this might add a little tension to the piece. Uh, I think it adds more of a flow and a character by pointing her off to the corner of the pier. It's missing boards. It's rotting. That's the darkness of it where the uh, rod is eating away at the boards. In the water I put some driftwood stuck into the underside of the pier. So, and like I said, I kept it to the browns, some tan for her horns and for this. I don't have no idea what this thing is on the back, but I painted it up with dark brown, some chestnut brown type colors, and a little light lighter brown, and then her her hooks have the tannish highlights like her horns, brown in the handle of the weapon. I don't know if you can see that or not if it for focus, but I painted the gems in on top, rubies. I don't think it's going to show those. There, oh, almost, but then it went out. So, there she is. I'm real pleased with her. She turned out very well, I think. I'm very, very happy with her. I think it's a very moody, brooding piece contemplative piece and that's exactly what I was going for by the look on her face like she's just lost in thought solitary singular so tell me what you think about her I really enjoyed this piece it's a, uh, it was a pretty complicated piece but once you get it all put together and painted up it's very very beautiful I'm really really satisfied I'm so glad I chose this one it was a great challenge, but one that pushed me in my model assembly skills, and I'm very happy with the result. It was well worth my time and effort. So there she is. Tell me what you think about her. If you have any questions, let me know. I look forward to hearing from you. If you see the glare on her eyes, that is because I always gloss varnish my eyes because they're wet. I don't know if I've said that yet. But let me know what you think about her. Well, ask you to please uh, subscribe. Have any questions, let me know. This is General Splatten. Just wanted to say, once again, uh, thank you, Nataku, and I miss you, and I wish you the very, very best in your life and your family's life. So, look forward to hearing from you. This is General Splatten. I'll talk again.